<laughs> they made uh, a Mrs. Santa float one yeah. year, and uh, I made a cape uh, for Mrs. Santa, and she had the fur from a negligee set. You know, <laughs> she took it off and she put it around. These photographs of past Santa Claus parades bring back fond memories for Kathy Smith and her daughter Donna. It was great the way the neighbors just so embraced yeah. his joy with it and everybody got involved. Yeah. That's Wally with eaves and mitts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The photographs are also a reminder of the devotion of Kathy's late husband and Donna's father, George Smith. With virtually no budget and limited resources, Captain George Smith, along with the Winnipeg Firefighters Club, managed to keep the Santa Claus Parade rolling through downtown for nearly a decade. People don't know how close they came to losing it. Um, he figured that if we lost it, it would somehow diminish Christmas for kids. Again, the flag bearers with the Canadian flag, as I mentioned, John Crom of St. Patel, and with the provincial flag, our Manitoba flag, Robert Jensen of the West Coast Fire Department. Eaton's held its first Santa Claus parade in Winnipeg in 1909. The department store decided to sell the parade in 1965 because of rising costs. Beautiful toys for boys and girls the world over. Smith stepped in and for just $1.50, bought the parade and saved a Winnipeg tradition. He had the energy and he had um, the joy. He was uh, always so keen on, um, on helping um, whatever, you know, whatever situation came around, he, he helped. He did good. He worked hard. So it's okay. Smith's contributions to the Santa Claus Parade were recognized in 2011 when he was honored as the parade's Grand Marshal. He passed away the following September. It was so nice that he got honored that way because while he never did me, me, me or I, it was always we, it was nice that he could get that little special recognition. This year marks the 104th annual Santa Claus Parade, which continues to be run by a community-based group of volunteers. More than 60,000 spectators are expected to come line the street right here on Portage Avenue. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jessica Cable.